This is our discussion on hybridization using the carbon atom as our test sample. The carbon atom and other atoms can hybridize in three different ways. sp3 hybridization, sp2, or sp, allowing, in this case, carbon to form a tetrahedral shape, a trigonal planar shape, or a linear shape. How do you know what type, uh, which way a carbon atom atom will hybridize? Well, depending on the shape that you get from Vesper. So, for example, if you count four groups in Vesper, that means the carbon is hybridizing as sp3. If you count three groups in Vesper, then that means the carbon atom is hybridizing trigonal planar, and likewise two groups means a linear. Okay, so for the hybridization scheme, sp3 means that the 2s and all of the 2p orbitals hybridize to give four new orbitals. In the case of sp2 hybridization, it's the 2s and two of the 2p's, and then one of the 2p stays unhybridized. So actually this 2p is unhybridized. And then for the sp, it means that one of the 2s and one of the 2p's hybridize to give two sp orbitals, and then two of the 2p hybridized orbital uh, stay unhybridized. I'll put a star. This one and this one, the 2p's, are unhybridized atomic orbitals. The sp3, the sp2, and the sp are all hybridized orbitals. Now, each of these will give a different type of bond. The sp3 will result in sigma type bonds. The sp2 will also result in sigma bonds, but the 2p will result in pi bonds. And the sp will result in sigma bonds, while the 2p will result in pi bonds. Because there's two two of the 2p unhybridized orbitals, that will result in two different pi bonds. More will be said about this concept in lecture.